Alrighty guys, so if you can see, I already went ahead and started the experiment just because I am on my own, so it's kind of hard to video at the same time. But um, if we take a look here, you can see that I um, did put a nail right in the middle of um, both, well, the candle itself. And then on both ends, I actually uh, cut out one side for the wick and the other was already placed there. Um, the candle has just started uh, melting and you can see that um, based off of the weight, one is sitting on one side. All right, so we'll give it here a minute just to get started. You can see definitely the wax is dripping more on this end than the other at the moment. Seeing a little bit of movement. All right, so if one side of the candle burns more quickly than the other, the lighter side of the candle will move up. You can see they're getting ready to reach equilibrium based off of the motion and the forces of the candle. And here we have our candle seesaw moving back and forth. This experiment is definitely going a lot easier than the first trial run that I had. I dropped the candle on the first trial run, so. So you can see as um, each side is lowered, the wax drips on each end. This is gonna lessen the mass of the candle itself. The force of the wax is actually gonna push the candle down every time. All right, you can see they've both reached once again. 